want to put some kind of limiter after this. I really love this one. So on the piano, I'm doing uh, two things. It's just volume control. I really like one of the very first plugins that came with Pro Tools was the Focusrite plugins, the EQ and the compression. And I'm a real fan of the hardware. I know Chris Lord Algae, I think he still does. I think Tom does as well. His brother used uh, the red compressor on the mix bus. It sounds amazing. And these plugins uh, went away for a little bit, I think, and then they came back. They were rewritten for AAX. They sound great. They're easy to use. I just, I go to them a lot. So I like them for compression. I also really like the uh, limiter in it. It's really simple to use, just catches the peaks. And I played a really dynamic piano part on a very punchy piano. You know, this is also a natural speaker's microphones. It's also weird. And when you get really dynamic on a vocal and it's and it's like it sounds in the room. If you're in the room, it sounds great. The minute you record it and you hear it through speakers, it's to me it sounds sort of amateurish when things get way too loud and way too quiet. And I want it to feel like it's getting loud and quiet, but you gotta contain and control so it works through these crazy dumb things called speakers so that it sounds right to our ears. So I put the limiter on it, just caught, just shaved off the like the real peaks of the really loud punchy chords still sounds like I'm playing really aggressively. It's not going to sound bad to Bryce when she gets on the mic. It's be a bit more controlled. I see my lucky number every 